a scripture reference from St. Matthew chapter 8. St. Matthew chapter 8, and we're reading from verse 1. Yes, amen. You know, we have fasted. Today's a day of healing. We have fasted and we've prayed. We have already called upon the Lord and we ask Him to heal our bodies. We say, Lord, let your presence be with us and extend your healing hand. And we know that He's here today to meet our every need. Praise God. We serve a mighty God. A God who cares and he understands. And he loves us with a perfect love. Praise his name. He cares and he understands. Jesus knows all about all our struggles. Nothing is it from him. He knows how you feel. He knows why you feel the way you feel. He knows everything about us. Praise God. And in our illness, we groan. He you knows all about our groanings. Nothing is it from him. And we're here today to call upon the living God because he's near. He's a God who cares and understands. We call upon him because we know that he's a compassionate Christ. He'll have compassion upon us. Praise God. And he loves us with a perfect love. It is not his desire that any of us should perish. He loves us. He loves us. And he loves us always. Praise God. And his presence is here today. The presence of the Lord is here to meet our every need. So today is a day of healing. Praise God. We come to ask the Lord to touch our bodies. He promised that he'll heal all our diseases. And we come to him today to ask him. Here we are, Lord. We bow before you. You promised to heal. And we're waiting, Lord Jesus. We have the scripture read for us already from St. Matthew 8, 1 to 17. You know, when we're having healing service, I like to read the scripture and to talk about healing. That, our, that we know that Jesus does. He's a healer. But I want to refresh your minds that what he did years ago, he's doing it today. He never changed. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he knows all our struggles. Lord, you can't sleep. Lord, pain. He knows. He knows all about us because he never changed. <clears throat> in, in this scripture that was read, we see that Jesus is a great physician. He's a God who cares. You know, he looked beyond our father and said, Oh, God won't help me. Our God is not like that. He is a great physician. He heals. He heals broken bodies. He heals broken hearts as well. Just come to him. The scripture tells us that the leper doubted whether the Lord would touch him or not. He doubted well, will he be willing to touch one like me? Even though he was, he knew about the Lord. He knew that he had the ability to heal him if he wanted to. And so I believe he was conscious of the state he was in. Remember, he was in a bad state. And he could not believe that anybody could have mercy on him. He felt like he was an outcast. But church, 
the Lord settled that misgiving. <laughs> he, he settled it forever and forever. Amen. For the, lip, the lepers, yeah. for you yeah. and for me. Because he said, I am willing. I am willing to heal you. And today the Lord is willing. He's willing to meet your need. Nothing is too hard for him. The leper said, Lord, if you are willing, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus put forth his hand and touched him. He said, I am willing. Praise God. I am willing. I am willing to make you clean. Praise God. You know, can you imagine how that man, knowing the state that he was in, and for Jesus to touch him, and says, I am willing. Yes. Can you imagine the joy? Yes. Because Jesus is willing to help one like me. Yes. And sometimes we think that God will do nothing for us. Because I'm this and I'm that. I'm a sinner. But he came to save sinners. Yeah. Yeah. We, we need to forget that. He didn't come for the righteous. He come to save you and me. He come to save the sinner. And he says, I'm willing. I'm willing to help you. As you are willing to be helped. He was willing that God would touch him. And because of that, God was willing. Jesus touched him. Praise God. Shall we praise the Lord? He touched him because he's God. He's the great physician. And he said, you know, friends, we, we learn about the great physician. We don't have to search for him because he's always there. But we refuse to look and to feel. Sometimes he touch us and we don't even know it because we don't expect it. But we must always be prepared to hear from God no matter where you are. Praise his name. And then the scripture went from us. From verse 5, we have the account of Jesus healing the centurion servant. The Roman centurion. They were masters of the world. And you know, and they let the world know it as well. But now his, his proud head mm, had to be bowed before that gentle Nazarene who may address us. Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. He said, Lord, can you see him in all his power and his humble Nazarene? And he says, Lord, my servant is sick. He's paralyzed. He's tormented. He told Jesus exactly why he wanted him to come. Yeah. He told him the state yeah. that this man is in, that he wanted want him to heal. He got leprosy. You draw away from that. But he had leprosy. Jesus said, I will come. No matter what state you're in, call upon him he and he will come. I will come yes. and heal him. Yes. But they said to you, say, no, Lord. No, I'm not worthy. Yes. I can't let you come. Because I am not worthy that you should come under my roof. Hallelujah. He said, you know what you just say? Hallelujah. Yes. Because I believe. Yes. He said, say the word only. Yes, yes. Don't come. Hallelujah. Say the word only. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And my servant will be healed. 
He said, Lord, I know that I have power. I have power. I have soldiers on me. I have authority over them. When I say go, they go. And when I say come, hallelujah. When I say come, he comes. But in you, praise God, in you, I acknowledge power. Power over all powers. I see something different in you. Power yeah. over hard powers. Yeah. So just speak the word. Yeah. 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 Don't come. Yeah. Yeah. Speak the word. Yeah. That is all I ask. Yeah. Speak the word. Yeah. Oh Lord, I'm not worthy. Yeah. Speak the word for me. Yeah. That is all I'm asking. Yeah. I'm not worthy that you should come underneath my roof. Speak the word. Jesus says, I have not found such great faith, not even in Israel. Praise God. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. My friend, the, the servant was healed that very same day. Jesus spoke the word. And he was healed. We are talking about the same Jesus today. And we are saying that his presence is here. His arms are outstretched. Come unto me. Come with your haste. Come with your pain. Come with sin. And I will cleanse you. You know church. I'm not going to. Hold on, because I have no healing. As we pray, let's turn our thoughts to the living God. How kind and loving and caring that He is. You know, sometimes we're in such a state we think God can't love us. But He, he sees the heart and He knows what is best for us of all time. You know, if you believe, my friend, that God answers prayer, I'm going to invite you to come. Come. Come to the Lord. Come with your pains. Come with your aches. Because He's here. And there's power in the name of Jesus. You know, we will pray for you. And I want to say to you that the presence of the Lord is here to meet your every need. We are here because he sent us. We can testify because he saved us. And the whole testimony is true. Because once I was blind, but now I see. And the Lord is saying, come as you are. He's a God, he raised the dead. He made the blind see. And he's doing that today. Just trust God. Come boldly. Lord, I believe. Help my humbly. May God bless you. Amen. Father in heaven, we thank you for your word, O oh God. Thank you for your people. Lord, as they come forth for healing today, Lord, your presence is here. You promise that you will be here. And Lord, we know we can feel your presence. So Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you'll extend your healing hands and touch your people. In Jesus' name. Amen.